the catacombs or the dungeons. It has been a part of Hypixel Skybox for the past year and almost a half since Skybox has been released and has been rumored to be added as early as at two weeks of Hypixel Skybox existence or about two years and four months ago. And yet, my hatred for it stays the same since the start. On the 13th of December 2020, the first country proof of her dungeon came in a form of tweet from J. Yawaman, a mini boss mob AI system, which seems to be a mob that uses a player model and has an ability to swing their swords and heal themselves with a golden apple, and also an ability to use the ability of the swords, the aspect of the dragon, to push the player away. This AI seems really, really impressive. The closest thing I've seen to this is a small MMORPG server called Windcraft, which have a really, really immersive mob AI system. So he's just trying to shoot the projectile at me, but for some reason it doesn't work. Yeah, he's fucking shooting the projectile at me. It is. <laughs> Oh, there we go, you hit me, good job. Well, at, at least for Minecraft anyways. And also a PvP server bot. But this is the concrete proof. Dungeon has been rumored way back in September, or even August 2019. And according to the wiki page for Dungeons, the now deleted tweet from Simon apparently mentioned Dungeon in the tweet on the 27th of June 2019, which is only about two weeks and two days of Hypixel Skybox existence. So needless to say the dungeon has been a really anticipated part of Hypixel Skybox that has been teased to the players since the start of the game. But due to the technicality and incompetence of the Hypixel Skybox team, which to be fair, Hypixel Skybox was created from a game jam, a small event among the admins to create some little games that might even be included in the prototype lobby. So no one has ever expected Hypixel Skybox to be as big as it now is. Hypixel opened the alpha server where it was available for the people with MVP++ ranks or the YouTube rank in May of 2020. And after initial testing for the alpha server is done, Hypixel is ready to release it 2 months after the initial testing. Dungeon has been planned out to have 10 floors at the start. So the first 3 floors has been introduced and there will be more floors being subsequently added as time goes on. So after Dungeon has been introduced, after almost a year and a half of anticipation, I was really hyped to say at best. So a few weeks before Dungeon has been officially released to the main server, I have a chance to pick my main class so that my teammate and I could know what are we gonna be playing. I picked the healer class. So when that time comes, I ran as a healer with a non-Dungeon Knight superior set and an AOTD as my main weapon of choice. Because I didn't have that much money to get myself a good gear to do damage yet, so that's why healer is a really really good class for me. Because all you do as a healer is to clear rooms and spam the healing circle to heal your teammates around you. But after a few weeks, it has been decided that Bonzo Staff is one of the best weapon in the game because of its AOE ability which makes clearing rooms a lot faster. So I started doing a bunch of F1 or Floor 1 with my teammates a lot but it didn't go down as well as I would hope it to be because my friend who is in a dungeon run with me got wiped during the run. It turns out that the reason for his wipe is that his co-op got a 10 million coins donation which if you don't know in mid 2020 10 million coins is a lot of money. It's basically 50 to 100 mil nowadays, but the reason they got a donation is simply because the co-op master at the time, she was involved with the splash business. So it's not a common thing to accept donations because splashes were really really expensive. But the most important thing is that this is actually the worst time to get wiped. Because in late July of 2020, Refraction and his co-op got wiped. The reason for this is because one of the co-op members has been caught profile boosting, an act of transferring illegal items from your secondary profile or something along those lines to your main profile. And this set an example of co-op wipe from one player in your co-op sheeting is a bit too harsh. And after this point, the case of people being wiped simply because your, one of your co-op member boosting or cheating has been appearing less. Since more of my mates got wiped, I decided that the only logical way to play dungeon is through P Finder. If you don't play Hypixel Skyblock and never play dungeon in the first place, Party Finder are notoriously known for um, questionable skills range. But that's what most players would tell you anyways. In my personal experience, 
where I have always never felt the need to play with the lower level players because I have enough high catacomb levels because I used to kind of previous four beforehand. I would say a different story and that P finder are perfectly fine because I've used it and even my F7 S plus PB or personal best is just actually with P finder. Well, I kind of have an advantage here where I started catacombs way earlier than most people. But to be fair, I don't have a lot of standard for dungeons anyways. If you ever watch my a dungeon stream, you would know that my party can consist of a really really good party that gets sub 4 or sometimes sub 3.30 M6 run and some days I would even get sub 5 M6 run. It's mostly because I don't care enough. And after my party have got wiped, I went alone on the P-Founded road until I get card 16. I stopped doing dungeon at card 16 because Fraud 3 has done everything for me and without any RNG drops like the adaptive chest plate which was THE best chest plate for me setup or even setup for that matter back in the days was going upward of 50 mil in the first few days and has gradually dropped down to 20 to 30 mil because I didn't get any of that I lacked the motivation. Grinding for a card XP is also really important but since catacomb level scales a bit too harshly it makes the progress a bit too stale and I stop to grind more slots or grinding skill instead. But I didn't have to wait that long because a month later, floor 4 of the catacombs has been released and to this day remain one of my most hated floor because of FUCKING CHICKEN! The thing that 4 floor has introduced has shifted the meta a bit because with 4 floor being introduced, it came with two brand new weapons, the Spirit Scepter, a high damage AOE with an ability to guide a projectile aka the bats that are really really suitable for the mage class. Along with it also come the boomerang, a high damage short range bow that could deal a lot of damage with a hidden ability that could also be useful but no one has discovered it yet. But since boomerangs is quite a bit hard to use and only useful for bosses and not for clearing rooms or small mobs, the middle during the 4-4 days is 1 healer, 3 mages, 1 archer. I wish if you look at the future flaws, it, it might see a bit of a pattern here. But after wishing about catacomb 20 to 25, I actually forgot. I stopped doing catacombs because it got really boring and once again, the pockets felt a bit stale because catacomb XP scales a bit too harshly to my liking. So I waited and Flawfa was released in mid-September 2020, two months after the catacomb release. But I actually didn't start doing Flawfa immediately due to other games like Warren, Windcraft and other things to cry in Skybox that isn't dungeon. So I skip right to floor 6 and the meta is still hasn't shifted. 1 healer, 3 mages, 1 archer. But this time, mages got necromancer armor from floor 6 to buff their stat. And berserker and archer got shadow assassin from floor 5 to buff their stats. But besides these two armor sets, dungeon knight superior and tarantula armor set, which are way stronger than non dungeon knight variant that I use in my F1 days, are now viable. And during my F6 days, one thing that I would never forget for some reason and I still vividly really remembered from F6 is that there used to be one archer with 4 boomerang and 5 star superior that came into our party and absolutely destroyed the giant floor 6. I was astonished and when F7 comes around, the mina has changed a bit with the exclusions of the healer or tank turned into only 4 mages and 1 archer because the need for tanking and healing class were out of demand due to the new sword and the wither armor which two of those things provides a lot of HP and damage. The Necron Blade CV, the most popular one being the Hyperion one because it caters to mages, this sword provides healing and AOE damage by just right clicking them. I assume you have all the free scrolls and put it on them and this is a really really bad news for me because I'm still playing as a healer this time. So it was really hard for me to get a party as a healer since like I have said before, there's no necessity for a healer forcing me to switch to another class. I switched to Boomerang Archer because that's the cheapest class anybody could play apart from Hyperion Mage. So I did a few F7 runs expecting myself to get a Necron's Handle, the most expensive drop and the essential prop to craft my own Hyperion. But that didn't work out too well after 500 runs. So I decided to grind the money myself. The best money making method at the time was a thing called fag running. Where you speed run a dungeon room to the blood room aka the last room in the catacomb before you get to the boss room. Where a random mini boss will be spawned where you can spawn the giants from the floor 6. Of which there are 4 variants of them. With each type we drop items to craft armor or to craft into other variant of the Necron Blade series sword. The one never sought after at the time were diamante handles and laser eyes. 
Demente Hando being the one that keeps a lot of damage aka the Necron Armor Set and the Valkyrie Blade and as for the Laser Eyes, it's the Storm Set and the Hyperion Swords. And I kept doing this alongside farming because I hadn't maxed out my farming at the time so I did both of them at the same time to not get bored. And with this fact running, I was able to get up to 10 million coins per hour and with the help of my friend who lent me his Hyperion, I could make the run go faster by making up to 15 mil per hour. And after about 80 hours of both farming and frag running, which is mostly farming, I'm finally able to afford my Hyperion that cost me about 663 million coins. And after getting it, I hammered down on the floor 7 and I did over 1.2 thousand runs in a span of 3 months. And with many RNG drops that two of them being the legendary Necron handles, the most expensive drop, which is sold in total for 800 million coins. In those two instances, I actually dropped it at work, therefore I don't have a microphone. One being on some <laughs> random runs with random people, and on the second, it was on Modern Soldiers live stream, which unfortunately I cannot find a clip anymore. So after making some money back for my investment in dungeon gear, alongside with many anti drops that gave me a lot of profit, I got everything that I needed from the catacomb so I did more skill average instead stopping at catacomb 38 although I could actually continue because during this time master mode catacomb has been introduced the thing is that the master mode catacombs doesn't give you any money at all only catacomb xp and since I don't really need the catacomb xp at the moment I decided that going for money or something else like skill average or slayer would be a lot better which I did I got 55 skill average and after I get 55 skill average I sort of run out of thing to do so I decided to come back to the catacombs again which was pretty fun. My friend invited me to join the M3 party which is the easiest floor aside from M5 and M4 and once again I was presented with a choice to pick classes. I could either be an LCM, left click mage and use a lot of damage in a single click but with the exception of the fact that I have a really really high ping making LCM so so frustrating to play but luckily for me there's another class which I didn't pick as well then that class is Rain Abuser or Berserker rather I'm not sure how this class works but you abuse an abode enchant called Ren. I'm not quite sure how this works in detail but you deal a lot of damage by having 100% crit chance and shooting a bunch of arrows into your enemy and left click with the rain ability and you would deal billions of damage in a single hit. Which if you can't tell by the name, it's called abusing because this is technically speaking abusing the rain bug which was patched later down the road. But in master mode, one of the characteristics of the master mode is that mobs deal a lot of damage. It seems like I'm gonna be playing as a tank or healer again the class that requires absolutely no brain to play but unfortunately for me healer is not viable even with the buff that every time a healer kills something it might have a chance to drop an orb and each orb give different stat boosts that is not really useful the reason why tank is way superior in terms of master mode is because everybody in your party usually have a really really squishy gear that deals a lot of damage aka the glass cannons having a healer wouldn't really help you that much because the mob is gonna kill you anyways but by having a tank one of the tank passive ability is to absorb 80% of your teammates damage nearby with this perk pretty much everybody near the tank is invincible so I play as a tank instead although doing m3 until cut 50 which is also a viable thing that you can do but it would take over 8000 runs which is a bit too much so I decided to upgrade my gear instead, or rather, let the game provide the new and better gear for me. On May of 31st, 2021, Hypixel has released the new Slayer White Goom Serum with many utility, two new weapons the Juju and the Terminator Ball, which will save Archer from being dead after the Boomerang nerf. Alongside with a new item called Akurum Nokimaw that you could left click to consume a bit of your health and trade for a thing called Overflow Mana, which you could use by right clicking to heal yourself or use as a mana. And most importantly, specifically for Catacombs player, Aspect of the Void and the Etherwalk Conduit. Upgrading to AOTV or Aspect of the Void, you decrease the mana usage from 50 to 5 and also unlocking the ability to put a thing called Aether Warp Conduit. This would allow you to TP really really far away or above some blocks by crouch and right click. This simple mechanic has opened so many doors to clear room a lot faster because if you are below a one block thick ceiling, you can teleport through it. This makes for some really really interesting routing in the catacombs to clear rooms a lot faster. But let's not lose focus here because the main content of this update is the new balls, the Juju and the Terminator. The Juju being a lower level one 
is the most used weapon in the catacombs because of its cheap price and its easy to use capability. Juju is so accessible for many players. It reached a point where a lot of players get the dirty unwashed hand on the Juju. This is the reason why the term Juju non is so prevalent. And at the end of the spectrum, there's also a Terminator, which is basically Juju but way stronger. This is the weapon that's dominated the master mode catacombs. This bow is so good that it shifted the meta from one berserker aka the rain abuser when there was a thing, three mages, one tank, two, one tank, three berserkers with one of them being the rain abuser and the rest using a terminator and one archer. Although the berserker can be swapped for mages sometime but these choices is not really prevalent unless if you're playing on M6. But with all these good things aside, I can't afford it at the start of the update but fortunately for me, one of the easiest way to make money during Enderman Slayer update is to do Enderman Slayer. Luckily for me, I had some of the gears like Giant Sword, a Necron, and Warden Helmet from the previous update that I could use to farm a bit of a tier 3 Enderman to get myself some Null Sphere and use that to progressively upgrade my gear until I have the best gear possible. And fortunately for me, I dropped the most expensive drop in the game after only 200k XP, one fifth of the way to the max level. No. Mm, screen. Screen. What? I got a judgment call. I'm not joking. No, you didn't. I got it. Sh share your screen right now. I... Put it in general. I'm not joking. I actually got it. No fucking way. I don't believe it either. No fucking way. I don't believe it either. Holy shit. I don't believe it either, mate. <laughs> I didn't believe it either! <laughs> After this tremendous amount of luck that was put on my side, I ended up auctioning it and selling it for 700 million coins. And after getting this amount of money back, I decided to min-max my gear to do Enderman even better. But during my journey there, something happened. The biggest DDoS attack in the Minecraft server history has hit the entirety of the Minecraft multiplayer scene with many famous servers being taken out from a DDoS attack, including Hypixel, causing everything to stop for 5 days straight. But after Hypixel has reopened again, they pull a gacha game move where they do 2 times XP for everything, but not the Slayer XP, or even the combat XP that you actually use to spawn the Slayer boss. But you know what's also get double? Catacomb XP. So I did about 5 hours of Master Mode Floor 5 and got a spike of XP in about 2 days. And my dumbass went did like 20 hours of Enderman Slayer. Which those didn't get boosted from the 2 time XP at all. But that sort of paid off because I've dropped multiple RNG drops alongside the base drop, the Now Sphere. Which is making a lot of profit at the time, up to 30 million coins per hour at its peak. And there was enough money to craft my own Terminator. But after getting my terminator, I realized that that's not a lot of use for my terminator. So I decided to do more dungeon to fill the use for my own terminator. I started doing only a few master mode floor 5 run, which gave a lot of XP. But after a while, it turned to 100 runs. And after a while, it turned to 500 runs. And after hitting catacomb 44, which is the requirement for top player role in dungeon gang at the time. In case you don't know, Dungeon Gang is a discord where they would comprise of many many top dungeon players and compile them together to form the best party in the game or close to one. After hitting Catacomb 44, I was fortunate enough to have all the requirement for it. So I played with a bunch of top players instead of the regular old Pathfinder which was getting really really frustrating in the master mode. And of course, having the requirement aka secret numbers, good personal best runs, and a bunch of card XP is certainly not enough to be a top player. So in the Dungeon Gang Discord, if you don't deserve a top player or underperforming, you could potentially be pulled or get voted out of the Discord, which is fine by me because most of the time, getting pulled out of top player plus, which is another level above top player, is more common than regular top player. So I never get kicked from the top player. After hitting Catacomb 45, I decided to do more M6 instead of M5 because M6 is way better in terms of card XP if you got a good party which fortunately for me top player has a really really good players in it that helped me to get through the M6. When I was approaching Catacomb 47 which is a requirement for top player plus I actually got my own personal PB a 3 minute 15 second 0.6 master mode floor 6 which is way better than the requirement for top player plus. But the thing is, this was during Jerry and Paul. Jerry providing 10% stat boost and Paul providing 20% blessing boost, which make dungeon a fucking breeze. 
and after getting Catacomb 47 and a top player plus roll, I play a few runs with a, a bunch of top player plus which were extremely good at the game which I, I've got lost a bit focus when I'm streaming but that's not a really good excuse because I did a heinous crime in the dungeon doing clear before secret and also just being bad you know with my routing so I got kicked out of top player plus roll and never got it back again after this point I feel a bit bad about myself and decided to stop doing dungeon as a whole to focus on something else instead and that is getting better and getting a better gear fortunately for me when the crystal hollow came out it provides me with the best consistent money making method in the game gemstone mining which I invested over 400 hours in and with 1.5 billion coins invested in it so needless to say that after I got kicked out I only focused on mining until I get 9 star fully maxed out gear at my peak, I was making 90 million coins per hour, but this only lasts a few hours, so this is a really really inflated numbers. But for the most part, I make over 30 million coins on average at my peak, when Genstorm weren't nerfed and the price hasn't hit rock bottom yet. And 2 billion coins after, I have a maxed out gear, ready to go back into the catacombs again. But getting a better gear is not everything I need to get better. I need to get better at routing as well, because like I said, the introduction of the aspect of the void and the aircraft can do it make room killing so much faster. But I haven't learned most this thing yet so i still have to learn it and luckily for me our sweat came to the rescue with his dungeon seeker cheeses and routing videos which they are too part of and i really really happy that he made those because it compiles the best routing in the rooms well not the best on all of them but still really good routing nonetheless into two videos which i watched and i studied religiously and after a while i also discovered my own etowab spot as well but that's not really useful in my opinion Anyways, after learning it and getting back into the dungeon again with a bit more skill and a bit more competence, I did at least 8 hours of dungeon both on stream and off stream, gaining 10 million XP per day, which is still pretty good but I figured that that's still not enough so I decided to up even more. Sometimes I even did 12 hours of dungeon per day, gaining 15 to 16 million XP, which this number could even be 20 million XP per day if I got a competent party and no downtime. So exactly 466 days since i started playing catacomb i have reached the max level of catacombs on stream and here's how the last run goes all right <sighs> middle click lcm let's go a new meta voice i don't have full maxer by the way i only have this <laughs> maxer better to begin with i don't have maxer I can't even TP to that. Oh, I, I, was, I, I was like, why can't I pre to TP to the grade? Oh, fucking my middle click is my right click. Hold up. Ding, 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 ding. I can't even open chest, dude. Please, I didn't complete it. Oh, I did not. I did not. My muscle memory doesn't like, like, does like this at all, actually. I'm going big ball move, okay? Solo one. I'm going in, boys. Going in, going in raw, no rubber. Solo one. Best solo one with high ping, boys. No hell nine. High ping, gamer. Check this out. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream 300 BPM, I swear to god. Hold up, I, I, I know how to do this, hold up. Wait, no, I'm middle, no, my middle click, my middle click, hold up. They do it? How they do it? Wait, I forgot, I forgot how to do it. Oh no, fuck, I forgot how to do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, fuck. I forgot how to do it. I forgot how to do it. God, I'm going God mode in dungeon. How do you do it? I'm too old for this shit. Why do I? Okay, that was a close one. Fuck off, mate. Bruh. I cannot use my key for some reason to press. What the fuck? I, I, I was like, I was so ready to like fucking 2 MVPM double tap this shit on the terminal like I used to do it. Now I can't even do it. Is this a kind of damage for D nowadays? What the fuck? I don't remember it being this fast. Handle time. No. Do I have Kismet? I don't have Kismet. Fuck. Nah, no handle. Sucks. I don't have Kismet as well. But one more M6 and that's it. My voice got nae Okay, fuck this shit, dude. My fucking monkey brain cannot understand it as well. But yeah. I'm upside down. <laughs> He's fucking upside down as well. <laughs> Ah, sex! Ah, sex!
That's my set. That that's my final message. <laughs> that's my final message. Hi right, boys, let's take the duplicate dig up together. Why did Simo left? I trade my two and BP two and BP. I'm fucking double tap for that. <sighs> What's it worth doing? <sighs> Honestly, not at all. What now? What do I do now, man? <laughs> I guess that's it. Next stop, Max Powder. See you guys in three months when I max out my powder. I'm gonna end now. So, there you go. No, um, this is actually everything that I have to say. <laughs> I'm not gonna go crazy over something. I don't want to do that. And thank you for watching to the end. I do stream live as well on twitch.tv slash fanku with four U's. I usually stream Skyblock and many other games like Apex or Su Genshin. If you would like to join it, make sure to do so. Anyways, until the next blue moon, farewell.